Okay, we're going to start with the most basic uh, building block unit of the Suzuki method, which is the taka taka ta ta rhythm, or what I like to call pepperoni pizza. Now this might seem like a simple or a silly idea, but it really doesn't matter whether you're advanced or intermediate or beginning, just starting out, never touched a violin. Uh, this skill is really important to learn and review and go back to time and again. You may have heard it called Mississippi Hot Dog, or I Like Chocolate Ice Cream, or something else. I like to have kids uh, be creative and make up their own words to this rhythm. Um, so you can have some fun with this. But the reason we use this is that it shows up in many places in the literature. For example, in the Bach Double Concerto. If you listen to the first six notes of that piece, that's the taka taka ta ta rhythm. And it sounds like this on the open string. It's a very basic bow stroke. So listen to it again, and then you can stop the video and practice this. And the way that you start out practicing this is by clapping. This is how we program the rhythm into our minds. And you can also do this speaking the rhythm and clapping at the same time. Pepperoni pizza. I like chocolate ice cream. You can stop the video and try this now. And if you're watching this and you're with your mom and dad, you can take turns doing this rhythm. Um, if you're the practice parent, you can go find your child and do this rhythm with them. Another way to practice this that works particularly well for young children, but, but really for anyone, is to take your right hand and put it on your left shoulder. And I'm going to mirror you so that, especially for young kids watching, that you can copy what I'm doing. And then you just speak the rhythm and move your arm while you're speaking. Pepperoni pizza. Start up at the shoulder and move down to the elbow. Pepperoni pizza. You want to make sure that you're only moving when you are speaking. So each sound that you say goes with a motion of your arm. Pepperoni pizza. You can watch yourself doing this. Pepperoni pizza. And then as you get good at that, you can speed it up. Pepperoni pizza. It's important not to do this. Pepperoni pizza. Because that's not a match between what we're saying and the motion of our arm. What we want to do is wire our brain and our muscle memory to mimic the rhythm. And this is how we're going to get used to the movement of the bow. To be able to move with the music and with the rhythm. Pepperoni pizza. You can stop the video and try this now. And then you can play this on open strings. And this is what it sounds like, again, on the A string. The important thing to remember when you're practicing this on the instrument is that you let the bow come to a stop on its own. One of the reasons this is such a, a great way to start practicing the violin is that the final two notes have a space in between them. And that space is there for a reason. It lets you have thinking time for what's coming ahead. Many times we need to prepare our fingers for what's coming next. And many times we can uh, play more musically and also have a way to release tension if we have a, a place to stop and uh, sort of regroup before we go on. You might take out that space uh, when you're practicing uh, later pieces. Um, but when you're working on them, when you're practicing at home, it's important to be able to stop and release and let your mind catch up to what's happening and also to prepare what's coming ahead. So we're going to program that thinking time in right away, first thing we're practicing, pepperoni pizza. Space, space. And then when you're making that space, you're just letting the bow come to a stop on its own. You're not forcing it to come to a stop with your arm. That creates a scratchy, heavy sound. And what we want to do is listen for the ring when we let the bow stop. And 
and that's called tone or tonalization. And we'll go over that some more in future practice corners. So, again, whether you're advanced or beginning, this is such a great rhythm um, and technique to review because it's a building block for later pieces. It also teaches you how to put some thinking space in as you're practicing, and uh, it teaches you how to relax and let the bow do the work. Let gravity do the work and just let the bow come to a stop without forcing it. And you'll find that uh, whether you're starting out or reviewing this, if you do a little bit of this every day, you'll be on the way to developing great, a great foundation for violin skill. So enjoy some pepperoni pizza today and happy practicing.